What is up guys, HF Masters here, and today we are doing a review on the Nexonite's 2017 set, Rayuna's Lock and Roller. The set retails for $19.99 in the United States, and it comes with 208 pieces. It also comes with three figures, along with two Nexo powers, one being a Forbidden Power. On the front you can see Rayuna's Lock and Roller along with uh, the figures, and then you can also see Aaron with a uh, one of the Nexo powers, just kind of like surfing on it. And then on the back, it just shows off some of the features that we will be going over in the review. But now let's open up the set. All right, here is Ruina's lock and roller all built up. Now the first thing I have to say is, just looking at it, this set is actually just such a cool looking set, however, when you really get into more of the details, you start to realize that this set actually has quite a few cons. Now, for the first one is kind of uh, just more of a preference, and this isn't necessarily a con, but this part cannot move side to side due to the connection. However, you can move it up like that. Well, that's down, sorry. Down or you can have it up. Now another issue, and this is this is a, actually a very big issue, is the function. It moves easily quite a lot and you activate it like this but it moves quite a lot and another thing is uh, with the figure, the queen. If you want her to be standing up you can either place her on the stud or get her to stand up on the tiles which is a, a lot more tricky but the thing is if you put her on the stud you activate the function she's not going down she'll come back right up so that's another issue but for posability it actually kind of works out because if you accidentally get the function and, and at least you don't have the figure falling out now one thing I, I do want to mention and uh, this is actually just really cool is the head part you can move it up and down side to side along with the front like claws you can move them up and down you can't move them side to side but I don't really mind that too much and of course you get posability with uh, these like claw pieces and here's how you detach it so what you have to do is you just kind of have to pull this out. Sometimes this will fall off, but it is actually kind of easy to do it once you get a hang of it. And then you have both the kind of like a vehicle and then you have the cage. All right, taking a detailed look at the kind of like bike part of the uh, set, this is actually just a very cool kind of small build. In general, this has just nothing wrong with it, really. The only complaint I really have would be uh, this opened up black pin, but it doesn't really do too much besides limit the amount of posability you can get with this. It also kind of helps, though, keep this uh, balanced. And one pro I've got to say about this set is, th like, this is just incredibly balanced, even without needing the, the cage it can it rolls well and it's balanced which is actually something really neat for a motorcycle and this does have a lot of extra stuff added to it which makes it all the, the more better all right taking a look at the kind of more like jail part or the uh the lock part of the set you can see that well you have the cell but um one thing with the cell is the function actually it it's really sensitive. If you flick it, the um, the forbidden power is gonna fall off, but the function will work. You also have to be careful because you can't have the function sticking on the studs, as, or, well, the figure sticking on the stu studs, as I said before. But you also have to make sure the figure isn't on the edge, otherwise the figure won't go through. And then if you just lightly tap it, it won't work, which is actually a good thing, like, but, Come on, it's like, 
it's really tough to use basically it's, you got to be like really specific with it because otherwise like because th this piece is not really well connected to it but otherwise this part is actually really nice probably my favorite part about this is the top for some reason I just love the detailing it has even though it's just like two slow pieces and the wings but I don't know I just really like it and then um, another interesting thing is the fact that it can carry the weapons from the Queen and Ruina, which is something I just, I really like that they included. Probably one other thing to mention is for people that don't like um, Technic pins to be exposed, the two wheels have brown Technic pins just exposed, and uh, they, they stick out like a thor sore thumb. And here's the function in action. Alright, taking a look at the minifigures, the minifigures are probably one of the better parts of the set. You get two exclusive minifigures, Queen Halbert and Ruina, and you also get Aaron, which is exclusive really basically to the set, however, you could say that he comes in the uh, Stone Destroyer, which he does, however, that is a retail exclusive, and it's more, so if you're looking for a cheap way to get Aaron, this is probably the set you want to get. And another thing to mention is that Aaron is different from the, uh, this Aaron at least is different from the Battlesuit Aaron. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the minifigures. Overall, my personal favorite is actually Queen Halbert. I don't know. She's just kind of pretty cool. Um, and Aaron is just my least. She's kind of, he's kind of bland in my opinion. Uh, really, really just not too much happening. He is different though from the uh, 2016 version, which I do like and appreciate a lot. And lastly, taking a look at the Nexo powers, you have two. Now, at the time of this uh, video, the official names haven't really been released, so I'm just going to kind of describe them of how I think they look. The one Aaron has kind of looks like a, a monkey thing. I, I don't, I have no clue what it would be for. And then the other one is like some fireball with like, um, uh, some like face or something on it so that might actually be a, a minion or something that might actually have something to do with the story but um i'm not really too sure on what the nexo powers are all right so overall ruina's lock and roller is an about an average set honestly i mean the set itself has quite a few flaws uh most notably actually the function i mean sure it works well but doesn't work great and since that's really what the big kind of selling point of the set is that's actually not really good now sure I mean some of it is fine like uh, the the whole kind of like roller part of the set like the motorcycle vehicle that's great but um I mean if the function isn't great and that's really the whole play feature that that the set has going for it you can't really justify the set as too great of a set now the set itself really isn't, I mean, too bad. Sure, the function may not be the greatest, but you can still use it. It's not like unusable. And kids can still get some good play value out of it. And the minifigures are good for um, adult like fans of LEGO, so that's good. But really, this set did not meet my expectations. I'm actually kind of disappointed. And for a $20 set, I mean, I expected more the, the first wave of Nexonets had some pretty good uh, $20 sets, but this, this just, uh, it's, it's not living up to what I expected. But uh, that's pretty much it for my review on Ruina's Lock and Roller. Comment below if you uh, disagree with me or if you agree with me. I'm sure someone will disagree with me, because uh, th again, this set is pretty good. It looks good, it's just the function just doesn't work too well. And, and that just really kills the set for me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And until next time, this is HF Masters saying goodbye.